Oh well. Didn't particularly matter, we didn't die. Let's take a nap in case another one decides to come on the next screen. Because we are looking for recruits. And we will not stop until we find a good one. Albino ape! Oh, come. Die, you stupid thing. Okay. Come on, albino ape. I'll worry about that piece of scrap later. Albino ape. Let's do it. Can we possess yet? Yes, we can. Actually, let's try to do this first. Waste time. Because it's always good to waste time. X and Y. And none of these are particularly, uh... Particularly exciting to me? No. I'm not particularly interested in them. Let's just take this albino ape for everything he has. But before we do that, let's make sure that we can increase what he has, if you know what I mean. Let's drop some food for him to pick up. Some nice drink to drink. You can also, if we want to, give him some, uh, something like the very valuable and precious small sphere of negative weight or our nylon backpack to make him able to carry more. But number one, I don't think he's going to run into a carrying issue. And number two, I don't want to risk that stuff because it's nice. Uh, food and water I can risk. So we got all this stuff. He doesn't really need any shield or anything considering that most enemies there are going to be friendly. So now that all the stuff is prepared, time to take possession of you. And yep, you don't have anything. You have fists. Uh, you have all these stats. You can also look at enemy stats with this. If you want to make some kind of best carry for all the enemies in Caves of Cud, this is one way you can do it. Uh, but that's not particularly useful. doesn't have any dom any uh, mutations except end domination. But that's not a real mutation. So let's just jump down here into this dangerous place. There are multiple entrances. We choose this one. And what is this? This is a steaming vent. Ooh, last time I was here, they were electric vents. I think albino apes are a little immune to fire and cold, so... Are they? I don't know. It doesn't say that I have uh, thick skin or whatever. What a th a thick fur, that's what it is. Uh, these, the, the, at least the electric ones, become a brighter color before they release their electric stuff. So... I don't. I wouldn't even bother trying to kill these. I don't know how much HP they have. I would just try to stay away from the ones that are active, like all of them that time. So, yep. Now these guys changed color, and what are we on? We are on a conveyor belt, and it's incredibly wounded. Uh, it seems to always be wounded. I don't know why. Uh, the conveyor belt always wants to make us move further. That can be used to our advantage or disadvantage. It can be used to move f away from these uh, vents faster, but can also uh, push us into vents. Uh, you can try to walk backwards, and you'll stay in one place, assuming that uh, the conveyor belt and you were uh, affecting your movement at the same speed that turn. So you both get one move in. It moves you one direction, you move yourself the other. Here's a conveyor drive unit. Sadly, this is not a staircase. This is where we came from. And there's no way up through here. So this albino ape is stuck. One good reason why we're using the domination. We don't have to worry about getting stuck ourselves. We could use a recoiler in place of that, but... Instead, we're going to build the zone. I don't know why it does that sometimes. But whatever. Okay, let's try to stay away from that one that's lit up. Nope, we got hit by it. Wow. And the domination's broken because he died! Wow. Wow. Last time I was able to go through the entire thing. Oh, another albino ape! Come on, my friend. Maybe the other guy's stuff still is there. Uh, probably not, though. Let's drop. You might die, so we're going to give you six of it. And we're going to give you some water so that you don't thirst to death. And, come on, my friend. And, actually, I'm thinking about trying something different. Uh, 20. Come on, come on, come on. Coming, coming. There you are. Okay, just need to wait for domination to come back. Turns out these guys are apparently easy to dominate. So let's try a different one of these shafts. Let's see if it still gives us these uh, steaming vents. Uh, 
Nope, it gives us fuming vents. They give off uh, some kind of poison. I don't think that's nearly as dangerous. Oh, no, they let off acid. That is more dangerous. Oh, it seems like they do a straight line thing. I wish I knew that that's how it worked earlier. No, this is corrosive gas. Considering that, uh... Why is it corrosive gas in there? Sometimes they do corrosive gas, sometimes they do acid. That's really weird. Uh, considering that, that's what happened with the fire. I didn't know that it did straight things. The electric thing does not go straight. So, I had no reason to expect it to go straight. So we're going to run into a few more of those things if this place ends up being the same as the last one. Uh, where you just get the same exact one type of thing. These are all friendly. That beetle bum is neutral. Friendly. Jelly's our friend. The ag agle maggot, which is some weird thing, some weird insect or something. Uh, here's our bottomless shaft. Actually, it's not bottomless. There is a bottom to it. And we will hopefully get to that bottom at some point. Switch. Well, that switch opened that door. That did nothing. And probably switch is, is destroyed by this. Yep. The switch was destroyed by the acid. Or the whatever it is. Yay, that's a door. It doesn't help. Um, let's just travel around here. I like these little areas where there's not any conveyor belt stuff going on. Sometimes you can get onto this and restore some HP that you may have lost. Whoa. Let's see. You on... I don't know if you're on acid. Oh, man. You were on acid. Okay, we want to rest. Uh, last time I was here, there were some, uh, deadly eels that lived, uh, inside some of this goo. Some of the eels were friendly, and some of them weren't so friendly. Luckily, we survived this acid, so let's try to move on a bit. Uh, it's a giant beetle, He's our friend. Just wanted to see what that was. Okay, that's not so good. I see what's gonna happen here. By the way, the way droid... Oh, the way droid hostile. Shoot. And we're also in a terrible position. Oh, well, time to die. Oh, we didn't actually die. Oh, the acid's traveling with us. That's funny. That's fun. Okay, the way droid's gonna be f busy with everyone else, so we don't have to worry about that so much. And if my prediction is correct, the building zone, no. There, that's what I wanted to have happen. Okay. Actually, let's just rest here a bit. I know that'll hurt us, but we should be able to heal eventually. Okay, we're going to probably die, unless I'm careful. Let's heal! Let me heal! Jeez. Okay, let's get that so it doesn't get destroyed by the uh, stuff. And we can heal now! Might have been a good idea to give him some witchwood bark, but... Oh well. Um, why is there so much acid here? There's no way to travel through here without probably dying. Oh, and somehow I made it. Uh, yeah, this guy's gonna die. Frig. Oh well, those two turned out to be very difficult ways to travel through. Actually, the fire didn't seem so difficult now that I uh, realize the easier way to travel through it. So let's just kill this guy, not even trying to possess him. Let's use precognition. And I think actually this is the end of this recording, considering that I haven't been watching the clock. Uh, I will be trying the rest of the shafts or the fire one in the future, but this is it for now. Wait. It's not yet it for now, because we didn't get anything useful. Fan-freaking-tastic. Just load that game up. And... Use the official save system in order to uh, permanently erase precognition saves, smiley face, whatever I called it, and replace him with Ray Magini. Magini. Ray is my genie. Okay, I, gotta, I, I should really press the button. Okay, now I'm going to stop it.